Hi, I'm Rob Swartbol, the Dutch ambassador here in Indonesia, in Jakarta. And you guys put some very difficult and interesting questions to me. Uh, I'd like to answer them, but uh, I hope you bear with me. Uh, I have a first one here, it's from Erik ten Haven. What is your biggest challenge uh, in executing your mission here? Well, that's a great question. I think the most important thing for me is to try to avoid surprises. And actually that's what a diplomat does. You don't want to get political surprises which could embarrass both Indonesia, the Indonesian government or the Dutch government. So why that, what I do, I have a lot of meetings uh, with ministers and, and, and institutions and, and businessmen and women to inform them what's going on in the Netherlands. And at the same time, I am informing the Netherlands, the Netherlands government, what's going on in Indonesia. So avoid surprises, that's my answer. So I have another question here by Rival Norman Sia. How important is Indonesia for the Netherlands in social cultural relationship between them? Wow. You know, in the Netherlands, um, there are many people with Indonesian roots. Uh, that was a, a scientist recently said one in every eight Dutch people have Indonesian roots. And you can see that in the language, in the number of Indonesian restaurants in the Netherlands. Um, so there's a huge interest in the Netherlands for Indonesia. And I know, because I'm here, also the other way around. So the social cultural relations between the Netherlands is about people to people relations. And we invest a lot of energy in that uh, because they are the best drivers for the, for the great relationship we have between our two countries. Now, Radicchio asked me how many years it takes to become ambassador. Uh, I'll tell you my personal story. I um, applied for a job at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, I think it was in 1990. Um, and I was 26 at that time, my age. My first ambassador's post was in Slovakia, and I was then uh, 41. That was quite young, actually. Um, when I became ambassador to Jakarta, uh, three and a half years ago, I was 51. So that means starting at 26, 51 to become ambassador in Jakarta, about 25 years. But be careful, not everybody will become ambassador. I got another question from Molodoš, Molodoj Tovarish. I think Tovarish means uh, comrade in, in Russian, so uh, uh, I'm not sure where you're from, but uh, you have a nice name. Your question is, how do you like Indonesia, especially Jakarta? Uh, the short answer is, I love it. And a bit longer answer, you know, this is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Uh, Nature-wise, uh, the islands, it's, it's all stunning. It's an interesting country with all those peoples, languages, uh, tribes, uh, fascinating. Um, the most thing I like about Indonesia is its people. I've traveled all around the world and I can tell you, tell you and I'm really sincere now, uh, the Indonesians are the nicest people in the world. Now, Budi Satria is a very Indonesian question. Uh, that is, what is your favorite Indonesian food? I grew up in the Netherlands, in The Hague, and The Hague, we have a, many Indonesians living there. So there are also many Indonesian restaurants. So I grew up eating Indonesian food. Uh, actually, I'll tell you a secret. When I take my sandwiches to the office, even in uh, the embassy, I have sandwiches with peanut butter and sambal on it. So this is how an Indonesian we are in the Netherlands. My favorite Indonesian food, I think, are the uh, rendang, for sure, uh, sate ayam, uh, and I love tempeh, especially with a little bit of goreng uh, and spicy. That's my favorite. John asked me, uh, what a difference can an embassy in Jakarta make in the relationship between Indonesia and the Netherlands? Well, that's, that's a very good question, because that, why are we here? Uh, because we think we make a difference. And we make a difference because we're here with the eyes and the ears of the Dutch government or the Dutch people in Indonesia. Now, if there are negotiations, the ministers from Holland cannot always come to Indonesia and vice versa, so we do it for them. Uh, but more important also, we'd like to explain to the Indonesian people what the Netherlands is about. Uh, we have a fantastic cultural center here, the Erasmus House, with many Dutch performances, 
So we'd like to share what we have in the Netherlands with Indonesia. And of course, I share what Indonesia means for the Netherlands to The Hague, my capital. Um, that's what an embassy does. John Seim asked, uh, what looks a day of an ambassador like? Well, what is that? Um, you know, ambassadors sleep as well, so uh, when I wake up, I get my breakfast, um, I read newspapers, uh, both on paper and through internet, so as much as information before I start the day. Uh, then I go to the office, Most, not always, but a lot of times I start with uh, discussing things with my staff, uh, and then I go out, talk to ministers, visit companies, um, and when I return to the embassy, I make a report of that, if it's interesting at least for the Netherlands. Um, then I work on my mails, you know, uh, like everybody, mails and, 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 and phone calls, etc. Uh, and at the end of the day, I go home or I go to a reception of a national day of another country or to a dance performance or to a dinner. Uh, so fully packed those days. So thank you for all those great questions. Um, I hope I could answer them all, I'm not sure about it. If you have other questions or suggestions, please contact us, the Netherlands Embassy, here via Instagram. Bye.